Hey, YouTube. It's nice to see everybody. We're so excited to bring to you again, Mr. Doug Kyle, Master Trader. And we've also got with us Brendan Duff, another Master Trader. You've got two Master Traders on the call today to talk about all things to True Badger Token. I couldn't be more excited. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it right on over to you, Doug. Hey, how hey. are you? I'm doing great, Deb. Thank you. Hey, happy Friday, everybody. And if you're watching this recording, it may not be your Friday. I don't know. But anyways, it is what it is. Hey, we had a great call yesterday talking about what was the difference between nine zeros, eight zeros, seven zeros, six zeros, and so on. And I got us all the way down to actually going over to what a dollar would look like. And, you know, one of the questions that was asked in the YouTube uh, was, Doug, do you think there's enough money on the planet to really go to a dollar a token? Well, I answered that in the YouTube and I, everybody should go read my answer because I, I put a lot of thought into it and it was a great question. Uh, and really tonight is one of those things that we're gonna be doing that makes us getting up to those bigger numbers even possible. We're having a burn party, right? I'm not here to talk about the burn party today but I'm here to talk about why I, I look at the token as, as a dollar, whether, whether True Badger ever goes to a dollar or not, what are the things that could make it feel that valuable or what makes it the ecosystem itself that valuable? So I'm gonna review, I'm just gonna go through a little review so I don't lose everybody. And guys, I will apologize in advance because I'm really going to ask for your full attention here uh, because we're going to go through some pretty, uh, pretty deep stuff. So I'm going to share my screen here and I'm just going to do a little review. So we're all on the same page. Okay. And I'm going to go through this part fairly quickly. Remember we, we did this yesterday where we started off with uh, one, two, three, four, five, let's see, do I got enough? I got six, I got seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. We, we looked at how many tokens you got at $500 at roughly seven zeros and a, a one number. We're gonna look at that just a little bit. Uh, and as we began to delete zeros, right? Um, let me copy this here real quick. Just want to share with everybody out there, we did hit a $16 million market cap overnight last night, and we're holding steady with that $16 million today, so we couldn't be more excited. I don't think we could be any more excited than we are right now about that. When Doug talks about these numbers, and he talks about seven zeros, six zeros, five zeros, we started this token with nine zeros way back in the, in the beginning, um, and then it quickly went to eight zeros. It is now holding at seven zeros. And he's going to talk about what that means. When the price goes up, we lose zeros. When the price goes down, we gain zeros. Hopefully we'll be losing zeros. <laughs> for well, the, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and, and we will, Deb. And we talked about yesterday, you know, what it looked like when, if we got started at seven zeros and we went to six zeros and we looked at those numbers and we went to five zeros, and then, you know, we went down to four zeros and we talked about how this is a very significant return on any investment. And, you know, we went all the way down to, you know, two zeros and it became very, very significant at this level. And I think everybody got excited. We showed that in the number of people that joined yesterday. And we also showed that in the market movement yesterday. But there's other things within this ecosystem. And, and my next call, I'm gonna talk about with inside seven zeros, we go seven zeros and a one, seven zeros and a two, seven zeros and a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we go to six zeros. Next call, I'm gonna go through that because within each block of zeros, there's a lot of movement. And we, we need to look at each one of those movements and understand that. But before I get into that, which will be my next call, uh, I really want to talk about the ecosystem inside of True Badger itself. And, and what I'm going to talk about is an ecosystem that we're looking at. It may evolve. 
it may change. And I wanna be very clear that I say that, that it may evolve and may change. But this is the ecosystem that we're kind of looking at and, and I believe the direction that we're really heading. So I'm gonna dive into the ecosystem of True Badger, which is gonna go right along with my talk from yesterday, because what, what you will see is that's very significant in the ecosystem is this number right here. How many tokens are you holding? And when we think about True Badger going to a dollar a token or $10 a token, that may be an easy way to understand it, but really the best way to really understand the value of the number of tokens and the overall impact that those number of tokens are gonna to have on you is to understand the ecosystem that I'm getting ready to show you, okay? So let's dive into that. And then I'm gonna have Mr. Brendan comment as we go along uh, on some of this, if he feels so inclined. Um, do, I, do I have to refer to you as Master master Trader Doug? Or uh, <laughs> since you're a Master Trader, I have to well, tell you Master, ma master, master Trader Ni Doug? Master Ninja Trader, Master Guru Trader, I don't All right. know. It's MT Doug. Why don't you just call me, why, why don't you just call me Doug? <laughs> All right, that's easy. All right. I'm simple. I like this simple It's not thing. Doug. Empty Doug. I love that. You, you tell them all this and I'll simplify it so so common folk like me can understand Thank you, it. Brendan. Thank God for Brendan. You, you bring reason to this. All right, here we go. So we're going to be talking about the uh, True Badger token today. Okay, that's obvious. And I'm going to make a couple of trader statements like there's risk in trading. Uh, past performance is no guarantee of future results. Never trade with money you can't afford to lose. Please no recording of this and all of this is for educational purposes only because they're, I can't guarantee how it's all going to play out. I can't guarantee who the players are going to be, when they're going to get involved. All I can do is show you a concept. And if you get this concept, I guarantee it's going to change your life. That much I can guarantee. Because once you understand this concept, you will begin to understand that this is not just about a single token. It's not just about a token that's at seven zeros or eight zeros or six zeros. It is so much more, okay? And, and again, I apologize, I'm gonna go slow. And you probably need to watch this maybe multiple times uh, for some of you because it's not so hard as it is a new concept, okay? And if we can get the concept, you will understand the power of what you really have your hands on. I showed you the power yesterday of just reducing zeros. I'm gonna blow your mind today, I promise. This is absolutely mind blowing what I'm getting ready to show you, okay? And this is the true power of what we're doing and where we're going to. Okay, and this is what becomes life changing. All right, we're talking about the True Badger token. We're talking about just buying in at the $500 that we showed on the spreadsheet from yesterday. So all of yesterday is relevant, right? And when we're at nine zeros, this is how many tokens roughly that $500 bought, right? 2.4 trillion tokens. When we lost the zero, we went to eight zeros, it bought. 248 billion, still a lot of tokens. When we went to seven zeros, it was 24 billion tokens. When we go to six zeros, it's 2 billion tokens. When we go to five zeros, it's 248 million tokens. And I'm gonna stop at four zeros because that's 24 million tokens. And there's, this, there's a reason that I'm showing you the number of tokens at each one of these reduction of zeros uh, has an effect, okay? Because here we go. When we look at 2.4 trillion tokens versus the 248 billion, this is 10 times more tokens, 10 times more tokens, okay? Super important, I'm gonna go slow. You need to understand that each one of these levels has a huge difference in the X factor, okay? 
When we go to seven zeros, 24 billion, we're talking about a hundred times more tokens that a trillion has, a hundred times more, okay? When we go to the two billion, it's a thousand times more tokens. Now, each one of these, the, the eight zeros versus the seven is an X factor more than the seven. And the seven is an X factor more than the, than the six. So every level really requires focus and attention at trying to accumulate tokens. And you're gonna understand why here in a second. And when we go down to the 248 million, we're talking 10,000 times more tokens at the nine zeros, okay? And when we go down to 224 million, we're talking 100,000 times difference in tokens. Now, why is that important? And again, every level, whether I'm talking level eight to level seven, level seven to level six, or level five to level four, every one of them has a significant increase in the number of tokens over the prior level. And that becomes important because of the ecosystem itself. What is the ecosystem? Let's talk about the coin. We came out with Catapult Swap, right? That was our first utility that was really attached or connected somehow to True Badger in our launch. And that utility was a very unique utility that allowed us to launch our token, True Badger, and have a defense against the bots that are attacking all of the new coins and taking advantage of all of the new people that are trying to get in and, and do something good with these coins, right? What we're trying to do with True Badger is a very good thing to help people in many, many ways. But Catabolt Swap helps the new tokens that are coming out to launch. I don't, I can't say 100% bot free, but I can say defensive against the bots in the way that we launch the tokens. And consequently, we're already getting, according to Peter last night, we're already getting tokens that are, that have woken up and are paying attention to what we're doing and are asking us to help them potentially with their launch. Here's where the ecosystem comes into play. If you'd never hear me say anything for the rest of my life, hear me say this for the next couple of minutes, because if you get this, it's, it's, it's life-changing and world-changing, okay? If a coin comes to catapult swap, they're gonna ask us to help them with their swap. What is part of the ecosystem that we may negotiate? Now, again, all of these things are in process, okay? No guarantees in exactly how all of this is gonna play out, but I do know the direction that we're heading, okay? So a coin comes to us and says, hey, Catapult Swap, will you help us launch? Yeah, we will. Here's what we need. We need a certain number of the tokens that you're gonna release for True Badger and for our community, you guys that own True Badger. Now think about the importance of being seven zeros, eight zeros, six zeros, five zeros, because if you understand how many tokens you own, then, and you know that we're going to get some tokens and we're going to release those tokens to the community, then it becomes very important at how much you've accumulated. Now, I could not represent a hundred thousand to one. I couldn't get a hundred thousand of these into this little box and you still see <laughs> this, this box down here, but each one of these represent a, a fraction of the prior, right? This one's a fraction of this one. This one's a fraction of this one. This one's a fraction of everything, right? But when we get these tokens, depending on how many tokens you have, whether you're got in at nine zeros, eight, seven, six, five, four, right? 
will depend on how many of the tokens we basically airdrop, and I use the word airdrop, but it's really not airdrop, but we're going to distribute to the true badger holders. Oh my God, what did I just say? Now I talked about true badger going to $1, $5, whatever, right? But when you really think about it, maybe True Badger stop, stops growing at three zeros in a number or four zeros in a number, but it doesn't stop growing in, in the potential of the overall value of the token because you being a token holder, you're going to end up owning other tokens in relationship to the amount that you're hodling of the True Badger. Now we come out with another company that says the same thing. You get another token, right? Now we come out with a bunch more. You got a bunch more tokens that you're holding. Now we're talking about an X factor that is directly in relationship to the number of tokens that you're holding or hodling in relationship to projects that we release. Okay, and the other portion of this is these are tokens that you didn't necessarily purchase, right? These are tokens that they are giving us for our True Badger holders, our hodlers, right? And they come to us and they say, you have a community. For your community, maybe, now this is all negotiated, but let's just think theoretically, right? Maybe they say, hey, we need 10,000 people to help us launch this coin. Hey, when we get to that point, we got 10,000 people holding True Badger. Okay, for your 10,000 people, maybe they'll let us in at nine zeros on their coins. So not only the coins that we get for, for the hodlers of the coin, but we also get the opportunity to potentially be in on their launch if we like their coin. Maybe you don't like their coin. Maybe you do like their coin. Maybe you only like three of the six here or three of the hundred that we do or half of the hundred that we do. But we get that option to be in on those launches, which is a huge X factor, right, for the ecosystem of True Badger, right? So now, I talked yesterday, simple math, reducing zeros, and growing our accounts. Now think about, we've, uh, we're accumulating coins at the seven zero level, right here, right? We're at seven zero level. And we're accumulating those coins. Every coin we accumulate and hodl, right? potentially becomes a portion or fraction or X fraction of another coin that may be released in our ecosystem or used by Catapult Swap. They need to use it, then we can take it, we can get the benefit of that utility that has been developed for True Badger and our launch. This is mind blowing guys, because now I took what I said yesterday and increased it by every token that is you that uses Catabolt in this overall ecosystem. So, uh, so, so let, let me say, I simplify. You're going to simplify. Let me say this one thing to the question yesterday. Maybe we don't get to a dollar. That's correct. And, and maybe it takes, or maybe it takes five, 10 years to burn enough tokens that, that it allows us to get to the dollar. We're all hodling it, it doesn't matter, but maybe it takes a long time to get there. But in terms of the value that would be like a representation of a dollar or maybe even more, this ecosystem creates that possibility. Okay, simplify me, buddy. All right. So, I mean, I think first, right, it's just uh, recognizing the opportunity and the time we're in, right? <clears throat> so I heard somebody tell me once that it's the opportunity of a lifetime, as long as you take advantage of it during the lifetime of the opportunity, right? 
<clears throat> so we've all heard those. This is once in a light. Well, I don't know, but I know right now this is crypto is where the biggest opportunities are at. So <clears throat> if we can accept or at least acknowledge that as a possibility, I think that's step one. <clears throat> step two here is this is an opportunity, right? <clears throat> Our community had the opportunity and as we grow the community, we're bringing folks into this opportunity, right, or ecosystem, as you call it, where we're getting, I want to say, uh, first picks, right? We're getting first pick at some at some of these, uh, you know, utilities, right? Some of these other tokens that are coming out. We don't have to pick the winner, right? Because we're that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring value to this industry with the utilities we offer, and in exchange for that value, right? We're, we're, we're coordinating and bringing in other companies or tokens who also potentially are bringing value to this industry, right? And we're getting, by doing that and being early in that process, we're getting first dibs, right? Or we're getting the opportunity to get access, right? Where, you know, historically this was never available to, small, you know, small investors or this, you know, the little, the little guy, right. Or the middle guy, not even just the little guy, right. This was really reserved for extremely super high net worth individuals, right. That's what the stock market largely built on, right. You wouldn't even get a call or you wouldn't get a call for an IPO, which we're not, we're not saying this is an IPO, but I'm saying is that's the early phase of, of things in the stock market, right. You don't get a call unless you got millions, and you just not get you're not on the, you're not on the Rolodex, right? For those who remember real phones and Rolodexes, but you know this is like this is ground zero, right? For for the little guy, right? And, and that's where that's what's really amazing about it. So you know whether we get to I don't know what zeros we're going to get to. I I surely would love to see four zeros or or, or less, right? I think uh, many of us would, right? But whether that happens or not, it's, I don't think that's the point. It, it, what's the point is, is this a great opportunity? Compare it to the other opportunities you have right now, right? Besides crypto, like a lot of people who, who are in the early phases of this have already doubled, have already doubled what they paid for their tokens, right? So, and, and more, right? And then some, that's like, so, you know, people get, you know, stars and glitter in their eyes of, you know, they want to go from zero to a million, but I don't know. I mean, how many people are doubling what they're putting into something on a regular basis? That's, that's, I, I don't know that, you know, at least pre pre crypto, I don't believe that was the case for many, you know, once again, it was often the opportunity for somebody who had a hefty chunk of change, right. Or a B, you know, once in a blue moon, but we're we're coming across opportunities that may offer us the opportunity to more than double what we put in more than once, right? So that is amazing. So when you start to talk about these huge numbers, that's really exciting because that is there is true potential, right? We and we have other success stories out there to look at. We can look at Bitcoin, which is one, you know, obviously the more known, but there's plenty of other, right? I mean, even you got the XRPs who are going, going through their own challenges, but people have more than triple and double. Doge, right? Another big one in the, in the news, right? Whether that ever goes to even a dollar or if it goes back to zero, people have made tremendous amounts on that beyond what, you know, if, if, we, to if we were having the same conversation at the beginning of Doge, you know, People will be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Well, you know, they they were flirting with the dollar, right? They hit seventy something cents. So, this is no; these are track records ahead of us. And what's a little different here is I, I think we're going into a phase of crypto where there is a there's a race to deliver value now, right? Before the value was just the excitement of the technology itself and the potentiality of the technology. Now we're starting to put things in the place that are really driving value right in the industry or other other companies other token other tokens out there so now i think the race for value meeting up with the technology and the opportunity is is like this we're in the next phase and this is a phenomenal phase to be in right. because 
now we don't have to try to at least explain what crypto is to people. Exactly. Right? They, they're, they're learning it, right? They're getting it. They're, they, even if they don't know what it is, they know they've heard of it, right? So now we, we, we get to ride, right? You're, you're Doug, Master Doug is also was a master surfer, right? So he could tell you more, right? You don't, you know, it's a lot harder, I imagine, to get up at the beginning of the wave, right? And then it is to ride the wave when you're on it. Right. I'm just guessing. I've never surfed, but that's <clears throat> visually that's what it looks like. So same thing here. We we get to ride some of the wave that the Doges and the Bitcoins and, <clears throat> and a bunch of other coins have, have gone before us to, to, to create. And now we get to ride it to to uh you know, hopefully to a huge crest. So that's what this picture represents is that it's it's opportunity much bigger than most of us have had opportunities for in our past and and possibly, you know, possibly your future. I don't know. I mean, there, I think there's always, you know, I'm always, I'm an optimist. I believe in constant opportunities and, and all that good stuff, but this is right in front of us today, right now. And it's huge, right? These exponential opportunities and compounding opportunities with other tokens, you know, it's just, it, it could be once in a lifetime. I don't know, but at least it's, it's least, in our lifetime right now. <laughs> yes, so, right. That's the most important part. So, it's right, right here, right now, right in front of us. And yeah. you know, anytime I hear somebody mention Doge or any of those other um, uh, tokens, what I love is that I'm looking at our actual first utility that's gone into beta testing, right? And this, I think, is going to be the second utility we actually release to the public. But you're looking at it right now. So we have it. We've beta tested it with thousands of transactions already putting on the final spins, the final, um, the final pieces to that puzzle, and we'll be releasing it. So actual utilities behind the token, actual business sense behind the token. Big deal, guys, big deal. You can find a lot of really nice looking tokens out there that, that might not have anything behind them, might not have their utilities even started yet. Um, we do. We're on track. We're really excited about where we are. We've got, we're building the community. And as a matter of fact, I wanted to mention, because I hear all the time, if you get in now, if you get in guys, what we're talking about is if you buy tokens, if you go out and do a swap and buy, start to take, take on ownership of some of these assets, right? It's that simple. In the business where I'm at my entire adult life, I've been trying to get people into all kinds of things. So I really want to explain that we are in a completely different place, although your networking skills come in very handy here, because if you are part of, um, if, if you're part of True Badger, it's, um, if you're part of True Badger, you own some of these assets, then of course you want to share it out with the world, right? You want to let everybody know because you want them to get these X factors too, to be in this uh, token economy. So I love it. I'm really excited. So excited to be at that $16 million market cap and see this coin, this token continue to grow and grow with the assets and the team we have behind them. Mm -hmm. And Doug, what you talked about here is mind blowing, absolutely yeah. mind blowing. So let's just leave you guys on this. We're at seven zeros right now, okay? The, the difference between seven zeros and six zeros is simply 24 billion tokens you're gonna hold versus two billion. When we're dishing out these, when, they, when they're available to go out, do you wanna be holding 24 billion tokens or do you wanna be holding two billion tokens? Very simple question, right? I, I want to be holding as many tokens as I can possibly hold to take advantage of the whole ecosystem, guys. It's that simple. So everybody brought in a bunch of people yesterday. Let's do it again today because if they come in while we're at seven zeros, it's going to impact their life in a big way as the ecosystem rolls out and starts rewarding people because when they came in and how much they're holding. It's that simple. It's that important. And I think all of the people that we know, we need to be telling them this the best way we can. Now, if they don't understand it and they trust you, you just got to say, hey, it makes a big difference if you get in today versus a month from now. That's the truth, right? So, 
All right. Anything else, Deb? That's all I got, guys. I'm so excited about the burn tonight uh, because that starts getting us closer to, uh, you know, maybe that dollar or <laughs> a token. We, we're going to do a lot of burning, guys. We're going to go through a lot of coins, right? And that's the object. Burn them down. But we still own all of our coins. And we got a boatload of them when they were easy to get, when there was a ton of them to get, right? We got a ton of them. But now as the supply shrinks, to get the, get as much as we have, is going to get harder and harder and harder to well, do. Well, it's going to be more costly, right? It's going to That's cost right. you a lot more to, to get those, to get the, so come in now and, and grab yourself some of these tokens. It's incredible. I wanted to mention, uh, for those of you who aren't in this crypto space and it's, and it's just really super foreign to you, I want to mention that our community is unlike any community on the planet. And that is we offer handholding by Zoom um, with you. So we have Zoom rooms open and we'll walk you right through the process. We'll help you get set up. We'll show you where to go to swap. Um, it's super exciting. And that's one of our sweet spots, right? This is, this is one of the things that we love to do. We do everything by zoom because we like to be face by face. There are a lot of nefarious people in this world of crypto, and they like to take advantage of you and your, and your money. We are trying to, um, get away from that, right? Where we want to be face to face. We want to know you're a human, you know, we're humans. We've got a team behind this, unlike any team on the planet. And, if you want help through Zoom to get yourself started, put a note out on our on this YouTube and we'll reach out to you and we'll get you scheduled. Well, Deb, Brendan, thank you guys. Everybody, thank you. Have a great Friday. See you at the burn.